everyone, welcome back to the Makeup Cherry. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to create this eye makeup look. It's a little bit more advanced than beginners, but we're still staying in the beginner zone, so don't worry, you can definitely try this out. I'll explain it all in the video, so let's get started. Let's get started off by priming the lids. This is super important for any makeup look that you're gonna create. And I'm actually using an eyeshadow primer, but you can always use concealer. It doesn't give you exactly the same benefits, but it is an option. And what I want you guys to do today is not set it, okay? So if you're using concealer or using a primer, I don't want you guys to go near any powder to set this in place because I want to teach you guys how to do it without the need of setting. It does make things a little trickier. So if you're a real beginner, go ahead and set with a bit of powder. I'm not going to get mad. But if you want to try it out, try it along with me today. We're not going to set it. We're just going to tap it out like this and this will blend it into the skin for us. But we're not going to go near it with translucent powder or even a nude eyeshadow. Now keep that primer handy because we will be coming back to it at the end. And I also have a few little tips and tricks to show you guys with it too. It's nice and tacky. It's a little bit of stick to it and this will grab hold of the eyeshadow for us. A couple of things to bear in mind, if you have hooded eyes, you see how light this is? It's actually gonna bring out your hoodedness. That's bringing any of that hoodedness forward and it's gonna make it more obvious. So you wanna make sure that the shadows you're applying over the top of this are deep enough to take away any of that lightness. Cause you can see how my eyes look even more hooded. So you can go for a slightly darker base if you need to or something that's gonna match your skin tone exactly or just make sure that you're really blending your eyeshadows to get rid of the hood. So this technique works whether you have hooded eyes or any type of eye and we're actually going to start off with the mid-tone. So I'm going to take my blending brush, I'm going to hold it right in the center. We want to make sure we're going to have enough control over the brush and apply just the right amount of pressure. And we're going to start from the outer edge and work in. If you're worried about where to start your eyeshadows, especially on the outer edge, take your brush, lay it alongside the edge of the nose, edge of the eye and edge of the brow. Now different looks will cause you to bring it out further than this but for a basic eye this is where your stopping line is. This little imaginary line and this will flatter most eye shapes. So you wanna start from the outer edge and blend it in. Now it depends on your own personal preference, whether you wanna bring it all the way in or whether you wanna go halfway, totally up to yourself. But for a mid-tone, I find dispersing the product on the outer edge and then blending in will just give you that nice fade effect. So I'm gonna mix up two eyeshadows. I've got like a warm and then a cool tone that I wanna to mix together because my skin is a little warmer than normal. I'm just literally dabbing into both. Then what I'm gonna do is tap off the excess back over the top of the shadow. When I go back in again, I'll have a little bit of shadow there already mixed for me. So we're gonna start from the outer edge and work our way in, but we're not gonna do windscreen wiper motions, okay? What I want you guys to do is just little tiny swirls, just working all the way in, barely touching the skin, bringing that all the way into the eye. You can see how much product is dispersing. I'm barely touching the skin. Just doing tiny little wiggles. When you're coming back, take the pressure off and start the pressure again just on the outer edge. And you wanna keep your eyes open when you apply your mid-tone. I mentioned this last week and honestly, it's a game changer. Keeping your eyes open lets you not only see where you're applying it, but it also makes sure you're applying it in exactly the right place. You want to apply it above the lid. So if you keep your eyes open, you're gonna avoid the lid. And now that the product is on there, we can do little windscreen wiper motions. You see how I'm keeping the brush handle downwards and kind of pushing upwards with the shadow? This is just to hit any of that little fleshiness here which causes that hood. So I'm keeping it basically almost at lip level. Some people might feel more comfortable keeping it eye level, like this and blending over and back, but I like to keep it kind of low down. As the product is pretty much on the skin now, not on the brush, I can be a little faster with my motions and sweep it over and back to blend. So I'm gonna take a clean blending brush, and it is clean. I've just even used it on this eye, but it's pretty much clean. I'm just gonna go around the edges. And what a clean blending brush does is it basically blends everything for us without creating that muddy effect. Nobody wants that muddy effect. So I'm barely touching the skin. I'm holding the brush really far down on the handle. This takes a lot of the pressure off the brush and just allows you to get a soft blend. So we're not really moving the product, we're just blending it out. Now it's up to yourself how far you wanna bring this eyeshadow up. So you see I brought it pretty much all the way up towards the edge of my brow, but just left a little gap. Now, if you've brought it up too high, take a little bit of your concealer and just apply it underneath the brows and this will drop it down for you. Then take your clean blending brush and go around the edges. And that way we'll push it down for you, but you'll still get a nice blend. Remember to go back over and blend with your clean brush, not your dirty one. Next, we're gonna move on to our contour shade. Now, as I mentioned, your mid-tone is higher and matte, but your contour needs to be deeper and darker. And it can be anything you want. It can be satin, shimmer, matte, totally up to yourself. I'm gonna go for matte today. I'm gonna take our blending brush that we've been using this whole time, and what I want you guys to do is to push it down to create a fan like this. Don't put too much pressure on it. You're not squishing it. You're just very gently 
fanning it out like that. And I want you guys to push it into the shadow, tap off the excess. The little trick with contour is not to apply too much to start with. It's very buildable, so hold your horses. You're gonna take this and you're gonna keep the eyes open, but you're gonna look slightly down in a mirror. And what you're gonna do is basically carve around the crease. So carve around the hollow of the eye, or you can create a hollow if you want to. Now don't worry if it gets onto the lid. I'll show you guys how to clean that up. You just wanna get it really deep into that crease. You also then want to apply it on the outer edge of the eye. So I'm going on the outer third to outer half. So you want the majority of the darkness to be on the outer third, but you can blend it into about halfway. So the blend is actually where it starts to fade. The application is wherever you apply it. So we're applying on the outer third, but we're blending as far as the halfway point. At this point, what I want you guys to do is to open up the brush, lift your hand slightly, and we're gonna start to blend this in. Why do I say this? Because if we blend from this point, we're gonna bring that up too high, which we don't wanna do. So by keeping your hand a little higher, you're actually gonna blend the shadow lower. I know, it's weird, right? So one of the mistakes that I make a lot is I always keep my hand too far down and then my shadow goes up too high. So if I keep it quite low, you see the way that these top bristles are actually going almost above our midtone? That's what we don't want. Whereas if I apply it like this, you see how our bristles are kept down here? That stops it from bringing it up too high for you. I'm gonna take our clean blending brush and we're gonna keep it low to start with. And I'm keeping it quite far down the handle as well. And we're just gonna blend the two shadows together first. And then I'm gonna keep it higher and just blend out that shadow. Okay, so here's a little trick that I absolutely love and I always do. I'm gonna take a warm eyeshadow. So this is actually one of the shadows that I used in my crease. It's just a slightly warmer version of it. I'm gonna take that clean blending brush. Yep, the clean one. I'm going to apply a very small amount of this on the tip of the brush. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around the edge, barely touching the skin, but around the edge of our mid-tone. And so what this does is it creates a really nice fade effect. Now, depending on the look that you're going for on the eyes, this will depend on the shade that you're gonna go for. So I've gone for like a warm color here. It's not too dark, it's not too light. But if you're gonna go for cooler tones, you can always use a bit of your blush even, a reddy kind of a tone, an orangey kind of tone. It kind of just depends on the look that you're gonna go for. But this shade is just perfect for this. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to go from this to this. You wanna keep that fade shadow close by because you're gonna need it again. So the very first thing that we wanna do is we wanna clean up our lid just slightly. You're gonna take a flat brush and a bit of your concealer or even that primer that you use. So we're gonna do a basic half cut crease. So don't panic, you can do this, I believe in you. So you're gonna start from the inner corner and work your way out. Make sure there's not too much product on your brush. So take it off in the back of your hand, just push it down like that so you don't get any nice big blobs or anything. You want a nice smooth line. And then you can just go from the inner edge blending to the middle. Don't worry if it's not perfect, it's totally fine. And you're just covering the lid, okay? And then I'm gonna take a matte eyeshadow. So you can take a shimmer if you want to, but I'm gonna use matte today because we're gonna create this kind of semi-matte look. I'm gonna take a matte pale eyeshadow on a flat brush this time. And when you're picking up with a flat brush, you wanna just press it in. Then what you wanna do is start from the inner corner this time, pushing it down and sweeping across until you cover up all of the concealer that you've applied, going right up to the edge of it where it meets with a darker eyeshadow, and right up to the crease. So how do we go from this to this? Well, you're gonna take that fade color. Remember our nice fade color that we had here? So where the light and the dark meets, we're just gonna apply it over the top. So take that same shadow, whatever you used right there, you're just gonna take it on your flat brush and just press it down where the two meet. So you can keep the brush either like this and work up, or you can work across. You don't wanna bring it all the way in, you're just going over where the two shades meet. Next, we're gonna take a shimmer and just apply it on this inner corner, just to kind of add a little bit of light. And you can also apply it just underneath the arch of the brow. Using that same brush, I'm just cleaning it off in the back of my hand. Apply that on the inner corner and underneath the arch. Now, if you want, you can use your face highlighter. Totally up to you. Or you can skip this all together and keep it very matte. Next, we're just going to apply a little bit of dark shadow underneath. So you guys can see, it just kind of makes my eyes look a little bit more open, even though the shadow's actually underneath the eyes. 
This actually just creates more of a boundary to make the inside of your eyes look brighter. I'm gonna take my blending brush and push it down to create the fan. We're gonna go in with our contour shade. Now you really wanna fan this out because I want it to be a nice smooth line. And I'm just gonna look upwards and place this underneath the lashes. As close to the lashes as humanly possible. And what you can do is sweep it just up to the edge so it almost matches this edge point here. But then what I also like to do is take that mid-tone and just apply it around the edges, which I talked about, I think last week does make such a difference. And that is the finished look. All you have to do now is just to apply your mascara and eyeliner, whatever you choose, and you're done. So that is the finished look. I've just added a couple of lashes just on the edge here. But if you're having any problems with this makeup look, definitely let me know in the comments. You can always send me a picture on Instagram as well. I am here to help. So if you've learned anything, please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.